An icy snow clogged sidewalk in Archer Heights forces people to walk in the streets. In this follow up to her original report, CBS 2's Suzanne Lemignot finds finally in the last few minutes some action. She's live at the scene with the update. Suzanne. Well, my the property manager says she apologizes to the community It's going to be working a lot harder. She says in the future to make sure that snow and ice are cleared from the sidewalks. Now, just within the hour, there was a man who showed up here with a shovel and he quickly realized that basically underneath all of this snow my boots are covered with right here. There is a thick layer of ice, so they came back 12 minutes ago with this what you're looking at right here a bobcat heavy equipment to remove all of the snow and ice from the sidewalk here. 11 days ago, we see people walking in the street because the sidewalks aren't shoveled here in Archer Heights. Fast forward to today, the north sidewalk on West 51st and the east sidewalk here on Karlov are still caked in layers of ice and snow. You all contacted me after I did the report. We were told the snow was going to be gone by the weekend. Exactly. It's still here. Exactly. And this is a very dangerous situation because we have all these people coming off the orange line. They're forced to walk into the street. Both the Alderman's office and the Department of Streets and Sanitation say a citation has been issued to the property owner, which comes with a fine of up to $1,000. To me, $1,000 is not a high enough fine. It should be like $5,000. The more, the higher the fines, the more you're going to get these people's attention to take care of their property, whether it's this property or any other property. But we've got a large number of local children that are attending Curie High School down the block here that, that go through the same area. We're not the bad guys. We want them to be good neighbors. We want them to maintain their property just as the residents do in our area. Now, as we see again, the snow being removed here live, this story serves as a reminder to everyone out there. If you receive a citation, you really need to pay it within 14 days of receiving it because if you don't, the fine is going to double. Live in Archer Heights, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. My Rob. Yeah, thank goodness you stayed on it there, Suzanne, or uh, that bobcat may not be behind mm -hmm. you right now. Good work. Nice timing. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Suzanne.